Hello and everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking. Today we're going to learn how to properly pronounce the names of Japanese and Chinese characters from the Street Fighter series. We will also learn the meaning of these names and the characters used to write them. So, ready to impress your friends? I'd like to start from my favorite character in the series. Now, this name, I've sometimes heard it mispronounced as Ryu, other times mispronounced as Ryu, but the actual name is Ryu. Ryu. Now, this kanji here would also be pronounced Ryu, same pronunciation, and it would mean dragon, but it's not the kanji used to, to write the name of this character. The actual kanji will be this one, which, as I said, can be read Ryu or Takashi, and it means high, prosperity, or noble. So definitely Metatron's channel approved. Now to let you hear the name pronounced within a phrase, Ryu-san, jōzu desu ne. And as he would probably reply, Mada mada da. Now for the Chinese characters here, I'd like to mention that I'm using Mandarin Chinese. Now this character here, she's actually from Hong Kong, just like most Chinese characters in the Street Fighter series. So I don't know the actual Cantonese pronunciation, but I'm teaching you the Mandarin pronunciation. The name will be pronounced Chun Li. Chun Li. Now, with Chinese names, please try to imitate my pitches because Chinese is a tonal language. Chun means spring and Li means beautiful or pretty. Example phrase 我喜欢 Chun Li. Now, this is my. Uh, when I was a teenager, she was my favorite female character and the name is pronounced Sakura. Sakura. Now, please notice it's not pronounced Sakura, it's Sakura. The term means cherry blossom. It's just that when you use it as the name of a girl, the pronunciation shifts toward the beginning, towards the beginning. So, sakura. Whereas when you actually mean the cherry blossoms, then you would pronounce it sakura. Sakura. Sakura-chan, nani wo shite iru? The next one is the Bruce Lee-inspired character of the series. It's pronounced fei long. Fei long. Now please notice that the G is not pronounced. Fei means flying, long means dragon, flying dragon. Fei long zai nar. Here is another character that often is mispronounced. I hear a lot of people pronouncing it Akuma. The real pronunciation in Japan is Akuma. Akuma. And it means devil. Teimei wa Akuma da. And moving on, here is the typical sumo tori or sumo wrestler. And his name is Honda. Honda. Please notice, first of all, the H is always aspirated in Japan, so you need to pronounce it fully. And this is actually his surname. His first name being Edmund, which they actually mispronounce using katakana into Edomondo. Hon means source or origin, and Da is one of the possible readings of the kanji, which means paddy or field, more specifically rice field. Honda-san wa totteru in janai ka? Dan. Here's an interesting one. Now notice that the pronunciation is the N needs to be completely and fully nasalized. So you say Dang. Dang. Full name Hibiki Dang. Hibiki Dang. Now Dang means bullet, shot or shell. He means fire and Biki, Biki means to pull, so pulling fire. It's interesting because this character is supposedly from Hong Kong, but his name is entirely in Japanese. And Hibiki is probably there using it to mean another me word in Japanese, which means echo, but it's normally written with another kanji, but pronounced the same way. Sort of double meaning. Dankun wa baka da ne. Gen. Again, the uh, Japanese pronunciation of a Chinese character, which you would read yuen, it means cause, origin, basis or foundation. In Japanese, if you read it as moto, it actually means cost. Gen wa hitoroshi da yo. The next one is geki. Now, geki means Fierce, violent, but it can also mean quick or quickly, which I think is would be rather appropriate considering that this character is actually a ninja in the series. Geki wa ore no teki da. The next one is Go Ken, is the master of both Ryu and Ken. And literally, his name well Go means sturdy, and Ken means fist, and sometimes can also mean hit in the sense of martial arts. So a sturdy fist. Go Ken sama. Gōtetsu, the master of Gōken. In this case, Gō is a different character, it means roaring, and Tetsu is iron, so roaring iron. Gōtetsu-sama te ichiban tsuyoi janai ka? Here's another one that often is mispronounced. The accent from people who don't speak Japanese tends to fall towards the second part and it becomes Ibuki, but it's actually Ibuki. Ibuki in Japanese. Now, Ibuki has pos several possible meanings. The most common one would be breath, 
or also blowing breath, but yeah, breath will be a good translation, and she is of course another ninja in the series. Eh? Ibuki? Haya! Maki! Beautiful character. Well, Maki is a normal given name, female given name in Japanese, but Ma means true. Ki is an interesting one because it means to record, meaning like annual, annals or historical accounts. Her full surname is Gendyu Sai Maki. And if we want to really translate Gendyu, well, Gen means source, Dyu is the willow tree, and Sai, it has several possible meanings, can be considered as gift, or can also mean the sort of meals that Buddhist monks exchange. Retsu is a Shorinji Kenpo practitioner and his name means furious or fiery. Hokuto is a little bit difficult to translate because only hiragana is provided. So without being without seeing the actual kanji, I can't really say the meaning. Um, there are many possible meanings, like the famous Hokuto in Hokuto no Ken, but in this case I can only tell you the pronunciation. Hokuto. Hokuto. Hokuto-chan wa utsukushin da. Here's another one. Makoto. Makoto. Makoto means truth or truthfulness. Although often I have most of the times have encountered it as a male name. But the fact that considering that she it is a she but she's very masculine. I think that that might be one of the reasons why they chose this one. Karate practitioner, very strong, very tough woman. The word Makoto is also used in Japanese to express a very formal real thanks, like in the phrase Makoto ni arigato gozaimashita. Honorable mention before finishing Yun and Yang. Unfortunately, I could not find the actual characters that they use for these. Most of the times they write these names either with Roma G, so actual letters, or Katakana. So clearly they're both from Hong Kong and I would have to use Chinese. The actual Japanese pronunciation doesn't really matter in this case. But since Chinese characters are not provided differently from, for example, Chun-Li, which were provided, uh, unfortunately, I can't actually know the pronunciation. If you do know the characters used in this case, please let me know and I could pronounce them for you. All right, then I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want, I can continue the series. I could make the same video for Tekken uh, characters and Dead or Alive characters. And I could go on if you wish me to do so. I hope it was enjoyable. Now go, invite all your friends, play Street Fighter together and impress them with your ability to both pronounce and translate the names of Japanese and Chinese characters. You are very welcome. <laughs> and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye. Sayonara. Zaijian.